Star Citizens, Buzzkiller here, and welcome back to the channel. Now I know it's been over a month since my last video, so I wanted to do this quick channel update and explain exactly what's been going on. Now first off, before we get started, I'd like to apologize for the echo in the audio, but I'm currently recording in a mostly empty apartment, so uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. As many of you know, after 20 years of active duty, I've recently retired from the U.S. Army. Unfortunately, the pension check I get each month from Uncle Sam is nowhere near enough to live on. It's just barely enough to cover my rent and utilities. Lucky for me, I joined the Army right out of high school at the ripe young age of 18. So after 20 years of service, I'm still young enough to start a new career. Now, I was hoping to stay in Arizona, but unfortunately jobs in my field just weren't forthcoming there. So I ended up taking a job halfway across the country in the lovely state of Ohio. So over the past month, I've been busy packing up my belongings and moving them to my new home. Unfortunately, things have not gone very smoothly. I originally thought I'd be able to move straight into my new house, but unfortunately it just isn't ready yet. So that's why I'm currently in this empty apartment with nothing but my clothing, computer, and a single inflatable mattress to sleep on. The rest of my stuff is being held in storage by the moving company until such time as I'm able to move into the new house. In the meantime, I've started my new job, so I've been pretty busy doing all the initial paperwork and all the required training. Now, after a week of red tape, I'm just about ready to start learning my actual job. Unfortunately, my new company is very short-handed, so once I am fully trained up, I'll likely be stuck working 12-hour shifts seven days a week until such time as they can hire enough people to fill out the rest of the shifts. That means, in the future, I probably won't have a lot of time to do Star Citizen videos. Now, luckily, I do have this weekend off, so I'll be able to watch the CitizenCon livestream on Sunday. I may even have time to throw together a short video with my impressions, but after that, it'll probably be back to the grindstone. Now, I don't expect this to be a permanent situation. Once my company is able to hire enough people, I'll have much more free time to spend with the community. All I ask is that you have patience with me until that time comes. Now that you have an idea of what's been going on, I'd like to mention one other thing before I bring this video to a close. Back when they came available, I purchased myself a ticket to CitizenCon. However, once it became obvious that I would not be able to attend, I contacted CIG and I was able to transfer the ticket to a third party. That lucky person is none other than Grimlock929. Now for those of you who don't know him, Grimlock is a Twitch streamer and he focuses primarily on Star Citizen, so I know the ticket won't be going to waste. As a gesture of his gratitude, Grimlock has promised to score me some great swag from the event, so hopefully I'll be able to share some of that with you once it gets here. So if you haven't already, go check out his stream at twitch.tv slash Grimlock929 and tell him Buzzkiller sent you. With that, it's about time to end this video. I know it wasn't much, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Don't forget to check out the CitizenCon livestream Sunday on the Star Citizen Twitch channel. The main presentation will be starting around 10 p.m. GMT, but there should be some pre-show entertainment as well. I'll have the link to that and Grimlock's channel in the description of this video. And finally, if you live in Ohio, especially the Dayton-Springfield area, let me know in the comments below. Who knows, maybe we can meet up. I could really use some new Star Citizen friends to hang out with. Until next time, this has been Buzzkiller, and I'll see you in the verse.